Welcome back to Champion News Talk Radio. Yes, we are brought to you by championnews.net. You can get all of your latest political news on championnews.net, by the way. And um, this is our uh, final section. So I Let's, know that you are take passionate off here. here. And, and we don't have much time, and, okay. and Joe's got a lot to tell us. Okay. But uh, if you want to know what where the trouble in the state is concentrated, it's concentrated in one place, and that's the K-12 school system. Why do I say that? Because I'm a businessman, and I know the kind of people I'm getting, getting now out of the schools, and they aren't well-trained at all. They can't do arithmetic, and they can't write straight, and they don't have good, good habits, and they don't know anything about things that have right and wrong answers. Uh, so it, it's, uh, it's doing a bum job, and it's driving us crazy when the money it's $160 billion in debt on the pensions. It costs $16,000 per child. Put that in the classroom, 20 kids, that's over $300,000. That's you and I going business. We'll get rich doing what they're going broke with in the public schools. Back in 1993, this was written in Forbes magazine. Here it is. 1993, graphs showing the number of, of people in the unions, uh, the decline in class size, and the decline in what the children are learning. This was written by Forbes in 1993. I bought a thousand copies and distributed them then. I got three left now, and I can read these, and we're in the same kind of trouble, only just deeper than what, For what Forbes cast then. And Illinois has done the worst job of all in making crummy education at a high price. If you want to know where the money's going, <clears throat> it's going down the sore, and your kids aren't getting a good deal. And the Illinois Pension Book will tell you more. Congressman Walsh. And the only way, Carol Ann and Jack, you're going to improve that or change that is to empower the consumers. Absolutely. Let the parents and the kids decide where they're going to school. There's a reason why that scares the unions. Of course. It, it, it it's just... the union that has made a mess of this whole thing. It's poured $100 million a year out of dues into the stinking politics of Madigan. And that's where the money comes for Madigan to make a reality of his own. The school system is feeding these greedy Democrat politicians unconscionably. And to get back to where we started, um, Obama 2.0, and we're going to talk about what he's got planned these next four years, he's out to remake this country. And the onus is on Republicans to either acquiesce to that or fight. And we're seeing at the national level and in Illinois, Republicans are conflicted. I'm not, and I know you two aren't. We've got to fight, but it will take a while. We talked about the message. Yeah, the Democrat message is here, I'll give you things. I'm going to help I'll you. I'll take it's care good. of you. It's good, it's compassionate. I'll give you a, that's an easy message to sell, and let's be honest. Right. A lot of Americans like that message. But a lot of people are broken, and that's part of this whole system mm -hmm. is that you divide and then you take away opportunity, and that breaks people's spirit. We have a tougher message. Our message is I'm not going to give you anything. I'm going to let you keep more of what you make, and then I'm going to make you responsible for your own life. That's a tougher message to sell. But that's the American message. And if it takes us four elections, we have to fight for that message. I think that the satisfaction that goes to a person mm. that shows that kind of independence and growth within a family and a business and the things you do, boy, that's very fulfilling. Priceless, Jack. But yeah. somebody that's broken, that has never experienced that and just trying to, they don't understand that. That's, that's beyond their conception. And I think that people need to actually think better intrinsically about themselves that they should it's have a hell of a, It's a hell of a good game to play in your own life. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, Carol Ann, if Jack and I went into every poor neighborhood in the city of Chicago and let poor African-American Hispanic parents choose the school their, their kids oh, would go to, number one. they'd be with us in a heartbeat. Oh, yeah. Take Congressman that Walsh, there. anything you have to announce to our listeners today? No, I just can't wait. March 14th, Obama 2.0. It'll be good to see you both there. And Champion <laughs> News is your key sponsor of that on March 14th. Please be sure to check us out there. We will have the Illinois Pension Scam book, and I'm sure we'll have some copies of El Sueño Americano. Meanwhile, you catch us back here next Sunday at 8 a.m. on AM 560. The Answer, we're Champion News.